It's Friday, it's 12.48, and it's time for this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Perrier Awards. Not so many people behind the glass today, but uh, reasonably full compliance, I would say, with the, um, the yes. crew. Yes, I told them I would impeach them yes. if they, uh, if they did not okay. comply. It doesn't mean anything anymore. No, of course. You can impeach whoever you like. Absolutely means not. means nothing. Yeah, and, and Holly's not coming back next week because she's... What? No, not for any reason. Really? Because, you know, someone else is coming back next okay. week. Okay. But, uh, but, you know, it doesn't matter. We'll like impeach Trump her anyway. Then. Yes, so, so she's leaving. So they're leaving. both leaving. Is yes. she going in a helicopter? Possibly. Right. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, we've 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 put the request in. Okay. Very Might good. Be rejected. You Excellent. never know. Very anyway, good. Anyway, good afternoon. Welcome. And welcome to the Perrier Awards. Thank you. This is where we look back over the past week of the so cold, so cold. Independent Republic of Mike Graham on Talk Radio and choose our favourite moments. And as it's tradition, Mike, the first Perrier goes Excellent. to you. Can you guess which one it is? Um, you know, I can't imagine what you've got this week because I've completely forgotten everything. It's as if my mind has gone completely blank. Well, it's speaking of forgetting, is the uh, oops, Mike forgets how to speak again. Okay. I've seen any studies like that, but I'm um, one of the, pub, pub, the pub, puzzling things. <laughs> I mean, puzzling's not even hard. Why no. can't you say puzzling? It's not even a difficult word. I think that's a question to ask yourself. It is. Maybe, mm. I don't know, yes. go and sit in an empty room. Well, there's plenty of those around here. Yes, exactly. The whole building's full of empty <laughs> yeah. rooms. So just pick one and just go and stare at the wall and think okay. about why that happened. Good. Uh, let's move on now to regular contributor Neil Oliver, because he wins a parry for the euphemism of the week. This morning at seven o'clock, I find myself standing out in the dark, in the garden, once again, uh, waiting for a puck to um, reverse park its breakfast. <laughs> That was good. That's brilliant. Very nicely put. I've, I've never seen it put like that. No. And I'm like, that's very clever. And also, it doesn't make you feel un- sort of nasty and horrible, no, does it? Because no. whenever people talk about stuff like that, it's not normally oh, nice. Oh, gosh, it's terrible. No, mm. I just thought of a lorry reverse parking. Yeah. That was it. And yeah, I was like, beep, that's a very beep, nice. That sort of thing. Yeah, like a beep, beep, beep yeah, yeah. lorry. Good. Yellow as well for some reason. Yes. I don't know why. I don't know why, no. Um, Travel guru Simon Calder. We've got to talk about yes. him. We do like so a lot of things have happened this mm. week with him. Uh, the first one is that both of you, you and Simon, uh, believed that he spoke to you this week for the first time this <laughs> yes. year. Both of you were wrong, yeah, like terribly, terribly wrong. And for that, you two win a perrier for what I've called your Groundhog Day tribute. Uh, travel expert here at Talk Radio because uh, he's kept us well informed over the whole year last year and I'm sure he's going to do the same this year. Simon, a very, very good morning and a happy new year to you. Well, let me be the first. I'm the first, aren't I, Mike, to wish you a happy new year. <laughs> now, I think I'm right in saying this is the first time I've spoken to Simon Calder this year, so I'm going to say a very happy new year. Mr Calder, welcome back. Uh, Mike, let me be the first to wish you <laughs> a happy new year. I am the first, aren't I? No, no, you're not. Actually. What, twice? He said that. Twice that he makes said it that. worse than what I did then. He forgot twice, whereas, you know. Maybe he forgot because you forgot. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe he remembered, but he went along with it. Right. But maybe it's just a line that he puts out to everyone. Am I the first? <laughs> because, I mean, that was by, by this week. It was well into January. It was the so same he, script, yeah. He couldn't have been the first, even then. No. Even if he was right. Yes. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. That's why I say uh, we have to talk about uh, Simon yes, Calder. There'll be an do. inquiry going on yes. uh, in the next few weeks to find out what happened I do happened remember there. something else that happened when he was on. I don't know if you've got that. It's possible because I've got two more. Okay. So um, let me do the next two. Right. And then uh, we can see. Um, he joined us from Kensington Garden, Simon Calder. And on this occasion, he also won a parry for the animal intrusion of the week. Yeah, it's a pretty much a one-way transaction. Yeah, not, not a lot of interacting with people. You're just going through... Putting, putting letters in their letterboxes. I can't see. <laughs> I love ducks. I think that's the first time we've had ducks on the show, isn't it? It is possible, yeah. I mean, we've had a seagull before. Remember, he yes. was attacked by a seagull in Brighton. We had a parrot as well. Parrots we've had. We've had, had dogs, dogs, dogs and... cats. Yeah, cats. Not ducks. No. Don't think so, anyway. Well, there you go. It's mm. a new one, then. Yeah, we have. Double perrier. Marvellous. You see? Well done. Um, And never two without three, because Simon Calder also wins a perrier for the harsh comment of the week. I'm hoping to get away back end of March. I, I have no idea where to. Right. But frankly, I'll go anywhere which will happen. It's a bit like, <laughs> a, a bit like you and pubs. Um, That's very harsh. I don't know why you would make that uh, uh, analogy at all. That's very harsh indeed, yeah. You see, some people think I have a sort of reputation mm. for going to the pub. 
But you know, I haven't been to a pub. I remember the last time I went to the pub actually. Well, it's because they're closed, isn't that, it? Exactly. <laughs> I think it was before Christmas. Well, yeah, very possibly. I mean, certainly, obviously, it was before Christmas. Well, yeah. Um, I don't remember the last time I, I went certainly to haven't pub. been inside a pub. I think since October. No. Because they shut them all. Yeah. Didn't they? You were able to get takeaway on in mm. November, but you couldn't go inside. Yeah. So I think yeah, probably October maybe. That's a long time. It is a very long time. For someone time. who spends a lot of time in pubs, which I'm alleged to do. Well, yeah, apparently you lived in a pub. Yeah. You know, and, you well. know, could be. Do you know, I think Mark Dolan did. Did he? Has he not told the story of how he kind of grew up in a pub? No, did his he? his parents owned a pub. I think so. I didn't know that. I think, I think, I think I've how heard him tell. How do you know that? He's well, I think I've radio. heard him say it. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Well, Unless we'll I'm ask him. confusing him with somebody else. But I'm pretty sure that's him. I've seen him around, so if he's here, um, yeah, I'll ask, ask him. him. Yeah. yeah, I'll pop out and ask him. Right. Anyway, moving on. Anyway, sorry. Um, listener Lucy wins a parry for the random text of the week. Ah, Lucy sent me a picture of a duck for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I still don't know why that would have... Maybe it was connected to Simon Calder. I guess so. Mm. Maybe she was following Simon Calder and taking the pictures taking of... Taking pictures of the ducks? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Anyway, we love ducks. Thing that's become clear. Afternoon presenter Ian Collins, who maybe or maybe not will join us yes. in the next couple We're of minutes. We're hoping to see him soon. We are hoping. If you're listening, Show Ian, starts we'll in love five you. Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this week he wins a perry for the best answer to, to the generic how are you question. How are you? Bit of a good what big My next over shaved head. <laughs> What's <laughs> fun? <laughs> Your next door neighbour did what? <laughs> they've they've shaved their dog. <laughs> Why? Are Why? To say, what's wrong with it? <laughs> oh, completely. I was just trying to think of completely <laughs> irrelevant things to say on the back of the garden set. That was a weird conversation. That of, was a of... weird answer to a very normal question. Yeah, I suppose it was. Yeah, because I mean, people shave their dogs all the time if they've had some kind of operation. Yes. Because the vet does it. Yes. But the way he said it, it sounded yeah. like they'd shaved the whole dog. <laughs> I just imagine like this because... bloke with a dog in the back garden just shaving yeah, it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's Which why I was no laughing. one wants to see, frankly. That's why I was laughing so much. She said he yeah. saw the dog the other day. Oh yeah. And they, they lost the old satellite head thing that he was wearing. Oh, the little lamp thing. But it's still shaved. Oh bless. Yeah. Well, grow back. Yeah. And um, finally, this is thank you very much to early breakfast producer Phil Day for alerting, alerting yes. me to this one because I wouldn't have caught it live, like as if I'm listening at 5 a.m. in the morning. Right. Earlier today, Daryl Jackson wins a perry for delivering the news story of the week. And Joe Wicks has apologised for accidentally breaking wind in front of thousands of viewers during one of his workouts. He says it was a mistake because he thought his live broadcast was yet to begin. He says it was a mistake. It's happened to... Well, I'm glad it wasn't deliberate. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness be part gracious. of the workout. Yeah. Like something revolutionary. Well, yeah, people who do yoga tell me that can be a problem. Yeah? Mm. Well, listen, it's all about exercise, isn't it? Sometimes these Apparently. things happen. Yeah. But I guess... Was that the news? That... Yeah, that was the news. That, that was, was the, the, news. Uh, the Sky News Bulletin I mean, that we take in the uh, day, early it? mornings. Yeah. Blimey. Yeah. I mean, didn't they know what's going on in America? And the fact that we've got a pandemic going on. That's news, is it? I assume it was the unfinally of the, of the bulletin, Maybe. you know? Mm. I'm not sure. Yes. Um. Anyway, so that's all for the Perry Awards. Is that it? That's it, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's time to go, pretty much. And Thank there'll you be very much. Next week. The Perry Awards on Talk Radio. I can tell you that I can confirm my mm. earlier assertion about Mark Dolan. Uh, yes. Kevin O'Sullivan has texted me to say Dolan's parents owned a pub in Camden. Oh, nice. Where he grew up. I'm sure I've heard him talking about it. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Well so done. he's not quite the... Um, I, w- I don't know what you would describe him as. He's not quite the kind of um, foppish, Oxbridge-educated character that you think. Say he was actually word brought again? up in a pub in say, Camden. So the word again, foppish? Foppish, What does yes. that mean? Well, if you imagine um, a sort of, um, I don't know, a very public school-educated... Like Boris Johnson, you would describe as foppish. Ah, yes. Well, there it's you go. sort of, you know, yeah. a little bit sort of posh and yeah. quite sort of, you know... Making funny. references to the the Greek wars all yes, the time. Yes, exactly, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talking about yeah. Cicero a lot. That Alas. Kind of thing. Alas, oh, poor stuff. Cicero. Anyway, so he's from a pub in Stony <laughs> oh, Camden. Good. So he's not... Oh, he hides it well. Very good. Yeah, he does. He well does. Done, he should talk to him about, about it one day. Anyway, listen, thank you very much indeed. It's been a great week. Thank you. Well produced, as ever. Well uh, presented. Thank you to the team. Uh, back there, behind the glass.